I want to move on to Mark Cuban. Cubano, Mark Cuban, man. He can't stop. He can't stop with his DEI stuff. Now, it's uh, it's frustrating. It's frustrating on a couple fronts. Is Mark Cuban trolling? Does he just want to farm engagement? Because he says he doesn't like what Elon Musk is doing. Is he just engagement farming and trolling to get people to reply? Or does he really believe this? Is he a billionaire who has so little, you know, day-to-day input into his companies these days that, that he thinks that diversity, equity, inclusion initiatives are what they're supposed to be on the face of it? Just, just helping people out, just doing the, the Lord's work. Let's take a look at what he had to say. He was talking about um, freedom of speech on Twitter on X. X is just such a cesspool now, right? Shit show. It's a shithole, right? You yeah. can't you can't win no matter what. Everything like less and less and less less time. Elon fucked that shit up, right? Badly. He, he fucked that shit up. But you know, Instagram still chill, TikTok still chill, and there's other places, right? That aren't so. It's still chill. Um, the the platforms that censor you are better. Uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's still chill, man. This is like a guy who's what sixty talking about how chill a social media platform is. Bad, where you can mess with people and have fun, um, but you just can't do it on on Twitter. That this X conversation is is important because Imp- you know important. He sounds like a girl. As the conversation around like real radical free speech continues to like carry on here. I mean, that's kind of what you have there. X is just so there's so many things to have a problem with in this video. It's wild, right? So here you have three very rich people. You've got Logan Paul, who I don't know if he made more comments about that. Mark Cuban, who's even richer. And Logan Paul's sidekick, who's rich by association. He's got some of his own stuff going on. Dated a porn star famously. How did that work out? These are three adult men talking about how being mean essentially is disrupting their lives. We've got Mark Cuban, an old man saying it's chill. It's it's chill on these other platforms. You can't mess with people. He has a problem with people saying that he's wrong. That's sort of the thing. He wants to be able to say whatever he wants and have the algorithm work for him so that people who disagree with him are censored. And he says, you know, um, what does he say? Instagram still chill. It is not. I don't know if you've ever been on there recently, if you've ever clicked on anything, (coughs) but I'm choking on the truth here, but everything gets torn apart. No matter what people are fed up with, with stupidity, people are fed up with having narratives forced upon them. People are fed up with the censorship. And he says he prefers the platforms with more blatant censorship than anyone. This is the reality. These are three adult men. And this is what, you know, Oh, uh, the liberal hive mind gets you. Now, <clears throat> let's talk about how he says extreme free speech. Let's let's hear that again. It's such a cesspool now, right? Shit show. It's a shithole, right? You yeah. can't. This this doesn't mean anything to them. It's a it's a shit show. What does that mean? Was it awesome before, or you're just mad that people disagree with you or are mean now? You can't win no matter what. Everything like. Less and less and less, less time. Elon fucked that shit up, right? Badly. He, he fucked that shit up. But, you know, Instagram still chill. TikTok still chill. TikTok still chill, you guys. The The Chinese one is chill, man. We just need to be able to say whatever we want whenever we want and have nobody have a problem with it. People disagree with me. I, I, I don't like that. That's not fun. It's not fun that... Uh, it's just not fun to have people disagree with you. I'm a billionaire. I should be able to lie about things. It's just not chill. And then the other guy's like, oh, I fucked that shit up. Oh, I fucked that up. And there's other places, right, that aren't so bad where you can mess with people and have fun. You can Uh, mess with people and have fun. I'm Mark Cuban. I should be allowed to lie and get away uh, with it. But you just can't do it on on Twitter. This X conversation is is important because... So we've got a guy here from California, and I've I've said this about uh, Impulsive before. I don't have a problem with Logan Paul, but when they talk about certain issues like this, the California man's completely comes out. So you've got a guy talking with vocal fry here. This is what I'm, this is what I'm talking about. Listen to this. Important because it's because this is my real voice. You know, when a girl, I'm like, God, this is my real voice. You know, as the conversation around like real radical free speech, radical free speech. 
What does that mean to you? That means people getting to say what they want. This is the California guy not knowing that he's a California guy. He's using vocal fry. He's saying that the social media platforms that are censoring people are more chill. And we've got a problem with radical free speech. People can say whatever they want. Tyler, the creator, he said, don't look at the screen. Don't look at the screen, young man. Did he say anything else here? Continues to like carry on here. I mean, that's kind of what you have there. Radical free speech is kind of what you have there. We can't have people talking about the truth. We can't. We just that's not chill. That's the thing that you take away from that. Mark Cuban. That's not chill, dude. He it, it, does. He think that he relates to these guys. Does he think that, you know, he's talking to teenagers or is he talking to rich guys who are still, you know, trying to appeal to teenagers? And so he's like, oh, he fucked that shit up. It's not chill anymore, man. It's not even chill on these platforms anymore, man. You can go to TikTok. TikTok's still cool. China's still cool. What are you talking about? <laughs> First of all, he's not on these things. First of all, he's not on these other platforms because you get roasted on everything if you say or do something stupid. If you post something stupid, you get roasted on anything because the Internet's had it. The the normal people have had it. So to say like, oh, TikTok's still good because it, it filters comments or Instagram's still good because it filters stuff and, and censors stuff. And, and X has been messed up because it, it's less censorship than the other platforms. That's a that's the teenage blue hair argument. If you got if you want to say mean things, you shouldn't be allowed to say it. Being mean trumps all. And, and that's what Mark Cuban's standing for here. It, it's outrageous. And we can move on to the next topic with that. My jaw hurts. Podcasting's difficult, you guys. It's not chill over here anymore, man. Turn it up, Jordan. 